Maurice Smithers told the court how hard it has been to speak up about the trauma they suffered under detention. He opened up about one occasion while he was being interrogated on the 10th floor at the John Foster Square police station at the same time as Agat. He said he heard security police speak to him in a threatening and aggressive manner. He saw Neil being forced to do push-ups and heard several times the sound of flesh being beaten with a newspaper and a belt. I, I wasn't able to see with certainty that was happening, um, but certainly there was, there was definitely a, a sound of, of flesh being struck. Well, he died on the 5th and, and the, yeah, the first thing I got was the newspaper and, and nobody told me, even, even, when, even when I was being taken to John Forster Square on uh, uh, the Saturday morning for a visit. The, who, the police officer transporting me didn't tell me anything. Smithers was followed by Professor Firoz Kachalia, former Gauteng MEC of Economic Development in 2009. At the time, he was leading the student movement at the Wits University. Kachalia gave an emotional recollection of how he was arrested and detained several times by security police. We, we were all very close, Justice. So what was happening to other detainees also mattered. The security police were trying to dismantle and destroy the student movement that was against the unjust apartheid laws using any means of torture to get them to talk. One person in particular was Arthur B. Conrad, the senior security police officer, seemed to have it in for Barbara Hogan. Hogan was the author of the Close Conrad List that named many public and underground activists, many of whom were later arrested, detained and banned. He recalls how the torture got more intense and extreme as the months went by. So slaps, uh, punches in the uh, solar plexus, um, beatings uh, with a baton on the soles of my feet. Uh, that's uh, incredibly painful. Uh, that might have been the worst pain. Um, um, and I, I reckon the most frightening um, was uh, the wet sack treatment. They wanted information which we were not prepared to provide because you have to you have to remember that you know um, you want to protect everybody you're working with and anything you said uh, you know could lead to someone else's detention. Kachalia believes the police were responsible for Agat's death. It's possible uh, because of the pressure he was put under, because of my encounter with him, that he killed himself. But um, it was as plausible, uh, if not more plausible, that they killed him. Um, maybe not intentionally because of the kind of in, uh, uh, in, from stress that they were putting him, pressure they were putting him under. Meanwhile, families of other activists who died in detention have criticized the NPA of dragging their feet in getting justice for their loved ones. Si San Jikelana, who was detained at the same time as Agat, recalled how he saw two security police carry Agat's limp body out of the interrogation room at the then John Foster Square police station. The inquest continues on Wednesday.